Okay, so here is the installer's manual to the LG 10 kilowatt hour high voltage battery. It looks a little bit like something from the Death Star. Um, now, you've probably read the title of this video, so you know that you're going to see a bit more than just what it looks like. I'm showing you this picture because I can't show you what it looks like because it's sort of all over the place at the moment. So, let's try and um, go through things. So, um, over here, this is the back plate. It mounts to the wall. Um, so this side over here to the left, this side contains all of the cells, which are six discrete modules of 7S LG pouch cells. Look very similar to what I've seen in Hyundai Ionic packs. I haven't looked hard in one of those, but yeah, it looks really kind of similar. And then over on this side here is the DC to DC converter and the BMS. Um, and it's kind of surprising to me to find a DC to DC converter because we thought that this was a 400 volt battery when we got our hands on it. And it turns out it's a 42S, so about 170 volts battery, and a DC to DC converter to make it uh, into a 400 volt battery. So um, each of these modules, let me show you one here. Each of these modules, just big, big pouch cells. They've got one terminal at one end and another at the other end. So it kind of like the, the wiring, it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out the top. So you've got your bottom at this end and your top at this end. You've also got, uh, where is it, where is it? There it is. Half of the BMS sense leads come out this end the other half come out at the other end ah, the lights not so good on there sorry and then up here you've got this slot here for almost like a knife thermometer th thermocouple thermistor you know thing for measuring temperature one of them one of these so that's what the the temperature measuring device is let's call it that um, on these um, okay, so the power from the battery comes up and out and through a couple of fuses. Now this sits as it's just been placed by my um, able assistant, Mr. Reese here, <laughs> sits on top, on top of everything. And this unprofessional insulation is mine because I was horrified when I saw inside. You've got these two fuses, so you've got the negative from the battery here and the main positive from the battery here, and then fuses, and it just sits there. It's a nice little well, no insulation. It had zero, nothing on top of these when I received it. So you could be in here and just drop your spanner like you might do, and then you've short-circuited 160 volts worth of lithium-ion battery that can punch hard, and you'll be kind of upset. Um, and the reason I was in there is not because I was being a fool. Um, it's the kind of thing that, according to the distributors, you might have to do because apparently they disconnect this to stop it from self-discharging when it's stored in the warehouse. And to get into where this is, you take off this cover and then you unbolt another piece, which is yeah, that possibly. And then you're presented with this. So yeah, not beautiful design. If I had a Tesla set of contactors kicking about, which mm, I don't, the Nissan is the same. The Nissan and the Tesla, they've both got insulation even when you're deep in the case. So you can't do dumb things like that and get bitten by them. Um, so I've shown you that. I've shown you that the BMS comes back. So yeah. This is kind of interesting. This little BMS, I said that the the modules look a lot like they are from what I've seen in cars. The BMS similarly looks like it could be. And it's got <coughs> three connections here for the, um, for the sense leads to come in. They're populated, but then it's got this guy here and this guy here and this guy here that are not used in 
in this application and may well be used on a car application. Um, I think I might have me mentioned the fact that I was surprised to see a DC to DC. I'm not sure I mentioned efficiency, but obviously you're going to lose some power messing with energy. And so one of the things about a lithium battery being really efficient, you're going to lose. And you can get an idea of how much power they think you might lose when you see that big hole there. It's so that you can have these great big heat sink fins here. So they're obviously expecting it to need to lose some heat. Um, so what else to say? Also why it's current limited, probably. Yeah, 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 that'll be why it's current limited as well, because this thing can only do about 10 amps, I think 5 kilowatts continuous. Um, but those cells surely can do much more. So you've got your BMS here and your power here. Um, and the BMS connects through into this top board and then out through there. And this top board plugs in to the lower board, which is much more sparsely populated and has got all kinds of power stuff underneath, which, sorry guys, I don't understand and I'm not going to strip it down that far to find it either because this isn't broken yet and I don't want it to be either. Um, but yeah, you get in 160-ish volts here, you get a 4 to 500 volts here and quite interestingly as well, these breakers, they're doubled up so you get your battery or your output through one breaker across and then back through the other. So I'm guessing that's to blow out any arcs. I, I'm guessing arcs will form um, in the direction. I don't. I never remember which, but I know they go one direction depending on the current flow. So if you've got two of them, one of them will always blow out, which will then stop the whole thing. That's my theory. Possibly another theory is that they just have room for these breakers so they put them in. Anyhow, it comes back out through here, through a couple of um, big old inductors to try and stop any huge flip variations, and then out to your inverter, which in our case is a sunny boy up there. So yeah, that's all the interesting things I think you might find in one of these, and probably a hundred million things that aren't interesting. If you are what, got any other questions, put them below, and unless they're stupid, I'll try and answer them. And if they're stupid, I'll try really hard to answer them stupidly. Uh, one other little thing to say, the DC to DC is made by Delta. So there's, there is its boilerplate if you're interested. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.